Hello, this is Press Spider of Kingdom of Loot. Um, today we have to try something totally new. Um, I actually decided for uh, this uh, review of prototype number 8 uh, to add uh, an audio feed uh, to the video. Um, because of, you know, at this point of development, um, there's just too many things and too many, uh, too many, there's too many stuff going on on the screen uh, to just uh, record the screen and uh, maybe uh, mouse movement or, yeah, you kind of have to guess what is going on. So, I try to record my voice. Uh, with my headset microphone actually but it did not uh, work out uh, the sound quality is just uh, it's too poor so I, I tried something uh, a little bit more on the crazy side so <laughs> I'm recording myself now with my small digital uh, camera uh, for the audio and I actually record the screen with fraps and then I will combine both to this video you're hopefully uh, just watching um, I mean in future I may if this works out I, I, I may buy uh, a decent microphone or at least uh, a microphone where I can record everything directly in fraps because uh, yeah, I lose some quality by uh, converting the audio from my camera to the actual uh, video. But uh, everything I tried, this was the best solution for now. And I really want to uh, have some uh, audio uh, commentary on, on this video because it's it's getting more and more complex. It's I think uh, there is no point in trying to get a point across uh, by just showing uh, pure video and, and, and maybe a mouse pointer. So let's check out um, prototype number 8. Um, this client is a prototype client so it's not really uh, in, in all the uh, uh, it's it's not the game client so I deactivated some uh, collision stuff and uh, other things as well to to make the client to compile faster and uh, to just uh, uh, concentrate uh, on on the new code to, uh, not to interfere with other stuff which is maybe not stable at this point so if you see some especially graphical clippings or uh, non-player characters in uh, outside of uh, walkable areas and stuff like this it's, uh, this happens a lot in this in this uh, uh, in this client because there's a lot of stuff switched off uh, to make de development more uh, easier so okay uh, without further ado let's uh, check out prototype number eight so the first thing uh, you will notice in future when you enter a map is uh, we now show you the name of the map and we show you a transparent instance of the map uh, like a mini map the white point is you the uh, dark area is uh, you cannot uh, walk to and uh, the light area is uh, is the area you can you can walk so um, we also added uh, oops sorry um, a little bit uh, larger scale map I call it a macro map <laughs> Um, with the name of the map and the map itself and uh, a fog of war uh, for um, 
actually uh, en encourage uh, to explore the map and it's a nice indication of uh, where you already have been and this is how it works let's put the mouse pointer out of the way so you just move and it shows you it reveals the map and you can see uh, enemies on uh, the macro map and you can also see enemies on the uh, mini map you will also see players and resources and special locations and stuff like this in future this is uh, just a raw uh, presentation of, uh, of uh, the map at this point so it's not po polished in any way, it's just a demonstration, just something I wanted to show you. So we have uh, the map names, we have uh, a moving uh, mini-map over here, and we have a larger uh, macro-map with Fog of War. Um, there's also some uh, additional uh, features on uh, the macro-map I will show you later. Something you may already have recognized is uh, this area. Uh, this kind of uh, blocks which are integrated into the map. This is uh, how we uh, intend to uh, introduce gathering of materials, uh, natural materials in the game. So this is kind of like a, um, a mining area uh, and it more or less works like this uh, all these uh, blocks are procedural destroyable objects so if I hit one block you can see it it, it cracks but it does not fully crack open immediately so let's hit another time So you can see the block gets even more destroyed and if I hit it one more time whoops, it collapses and if you're lucky it will reveal whatever is inside the block um, for now this is only demonstration so uh, I added, let's try one resource to it and this is uh, the collision is not working <laughs> okay let's pick it up drop it outside the area it's an emerald and Emerald used inside gear sockets, weapons plus one damage, armor plus four damage, uh, armor plus four defense, uh, pardon, and jewelry plus one vitality plus one willpower. Um, destroyed, this is an, an open map, so it resets after some time. Um, so we can start again, gathering some more emeralds if we are lucky uh, better use the mouse maybe otherwise you will hear the keyboard all the time on the recording maybe I have no idea how good the sound quality is uh, at present to be honest I I have to wait uh, until uh, I actually load it up to to YouTube so here is another area I mean it's a really, let's say, arcade, arcade uh, style of uh, gathering resources, so I kind of like it. Okay, I think this is enough. So what you can do with emeralds, and there will be other gems as well, um, you can actually put them inside your gear sockets. But you cannot do it while uh, your gear is equipped, so items to apply on must be unworn so let's unwear this armor 
I just take the emerald. It has defense 44 now. Now it has 48. And if you check uh, on the left hand side description the sockets, it says emerald in slot number one. And we can also add uh, one more. So defense 52 and the sockets, sockets are occupied by two emeralds. Uh, let's say we want to add it to, let's wear it again. Let's add uh, something to my uh, rare ring. So plus two plus two and it should add plus one. So it should be plus three plus three. What? Ah, I changed. Ah, shit. Mm. <laughs> I changed the idea, uh, the ID of uh, of the ring, so it does not recognize that it's a ring. Does this one work? No. Ah. Yeah. Um. Okay, at some point, believe me, you will be able to add uh, emeralds to, <laughs> to the ring as well. I don't want to start the recording all over again, because I already started like 10 times. Um, <laughs> every time something, something else is going wrong, so I think I, uh, I made my point of uh, showing how to gather uh, materials out of the mining equipment. Uh, mining blocks and uh, just uh, add them to your to your gear so something else I wanted to show you is um, the macro map let's go explore a little bit more first let's say up here So you can see how the, the map reveals itself uh, after a short while. So let's say you want to go uh, back uh, to the mining area. You just uh, double click, uh, double click the, the area you want to run to. And your character will automatically uh, avoid enemy and find its way uh, to the destination. So, if you click like one time, you just walk over there. So this is pretty neat if you just want to go to an exit or you already... Uh, Unwield a lot of areas and you, you want to want to go to a special spot you just open the map you click uh, on your destination and your character will automatically go there avoid enemies and uh, tries to find uh, the fastest uh, way to get there um yeah, I have to admit, I, I, I kind of like uh, how you're now able uh, to like kind of break out uh, parts of, of, the, of the map to actually uh, get uh, uh, crafting materials. I mean, this is, uh, as I uh, already uh, said before, this is just demonstration. I mean, in future there will be like all kind of metals, all kind of minerals, all kind of natural resources uh, you can gather by mining these blocks. And you just uh, go to the blacksmith or some uh, other uh, workbench, uh, you will click it, you will put your receipt of uh, whatever item you want to craft in and it will show you what resources you need. You put your resources in, you click create, it will take a few seconds and then you have the item in your inventory. Something uh, easy like this. Um, what else? I think... Uh, 
let's let's call it a day here because to be honest I'm I'm not sure how how good the quality of audio will be and how good uh, um, uh, the, the quality of uh, of this video will be uh, at all so let's uh, combine my camera audio feed with uh, the FRAPS recording and I will load, upload it to YouTube now and please leave some uh, comments if it's uh, okay for you if it's uh, if it's better than previous uh, 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 prototype videos I mean in my opinion without audio or without displaying some text uh, about what's going on uh, future prototype videos are more or less like they make no sense because it will get more and more complicated and more and more uh, there will be more and more uh, mechanics uh, 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 which I have to explain uh, which uh, otherwise it will be hard to uh, to understand what is going on on screen so leave a comment and uh, yeah see you uh, next video or next open alpha which will be in August um, it will be longer than the previous one because we already have too much content to uh, to uh, for just one weekend uh, some of the diehards they complained the uh, last open alpha was too short and there was a lot of uh, not technical problems but uh, I mean kingdom of loot and there is hardly any loot uh, dropping because of a bug in the item generator uh, not funny and um, yeah I think it will be four or five days and uh, I will let you in advance there is no uh, no date uh, set yet I actually have to check and talk to the other guys and yeah um, yeah it will be a long weekend Thursday till Monday I guess and um, or, or Wednesday till Wednesday maybe a week or something and I increased the speed you're leveling up as well it was uh, it was too too slow to progress so uh, and we don't want to grind in in, in, in alpha so uh, we want to progress and, and see uh, what does work what does not and stuff like that so okay uh, wish you all the best thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you on the other side thank you